Hi, this is Dr. Ashwini from IndiaInspires.com. At the time this video was made, Hindustan Times, a national daily, was carrying a weekly contest where it would quiz its readers about some event, some story, some celebrity name that it carried in its uh, last one week. Most of us would find it very tough to remember names that you come about in a newspaper or a book. Here's how to do it. View on in this memorizing video. Let me share this tip with an example. In December 2020, the daily newspaper carried an article announcing the approval of the COVID-19 vaccines from Pfizer and Moderna. The names of the vaccine inventors and the ecosystem players are as follows. Kathleen Carrico, Augur Sahin, Ozlin Tureki, Albert Bora. Of this, Kathleen Carrico is of Hungarian uh, origin and inventor of Moderna vaccine. And the other three players are associated with the Pfizer vaccine, with uh, Ugar Sahin and Ozlin Tureki being a husband wife couple who invented the Pfizer vaccine. And Albert C. Uh, Bora is the CEO of uh, Pfizer. Uh, in addition, our Indian ecosystem players are Adair. Uh, Unawala of Serum Institute of India and Dr. Krishna Ella of uh, uh, Bharat Biotech. So how do I remember these names? So many months after I read about them. The trick is very simple. You use the visual part of your memory, of your brains. You hold the information you want to remember in visual images. You, you create as vivid, as vibrant, as multi-sensory images you can put in it the sense of taste sense of sound sense of touch if you can and more exaggerated the visualization better is the recall you locate these images on specific stations of a memory journey or a memory palace and you select as logical known memory palace as you can as logical location map as you can because then the cognitive load on your mind of that memorization is minimal. This table captures the storyline which has the complete mnemonic with all the visuals on a memory palace. So let us see how it does it. Uh, I'm imagining a thin, lean cat singing on a karaoke. The cat is hungry. This cat which is thin, lean is Kathleen singing on a karaoke is uh, Kariko and Kathleen Kariko from Hungary is the first name of the uh, COVID vaccine inventors and she's the inventor of the Moderna vaccine. She's singing in this music hall uh, along with another cat. This is a cougar, okay, uh, called Ugar and uh, they are singing and roaring and the cloud, crowd is uh, clapping in appreciation and you know they are signing the Uger is signing on an autograph diary so Uger Sahin is the second uh, name from the COVID vaccine inventor list and he's signing on this autograph diary which is uh, given to him by one of the audience uh, uh, this is a turkey from Australia so an Australian turkey uh, uh, it's a thin uh, uh, lean uh, uh, turkey uh, instead of a fat turkey and this thin lean turkey since it is from Australia it's wearing a typical Australian outback hat and uh, is uh, speaking in uh, a typical Australian accent uh, thank you mate and uh, uh, you know uh, this Australian turkey is therefore Oz lean Tureki okay and uh, uh, this is the third inventor in our list of uh, vaccine uh, inventors from uh, for COVID 
and then these people are singing in this music hall and this uh, music hall is called the Albert Hall uh, but it is a theater but it's not the Royal Albert Hall and this theater this hall is uh, uh, owned by a gentleman called Albert and he's a Greek gentleman and you imagine him the in the traditional Greek uh, dresses uh, like uh, you know I've taken the character of Thompson and Thompson in Greek dresses from uh, from uh, uh, one of the Tintin stories and they are manacled because they did something wrong or uh, they are Bura Greek so these are Bura Greek uh, Albert Bora is a you know a Bura Greek Bura Greek these all uh, words compound to create Albert Bora okay and Albert Bora is the fourth inventor of COVID vaccines or rather the fourth uh, key name in the COVID uh, vaccine chronology so uh, Azlin Tureki and uh, Ugar Sahin are husband wife uh, couple uh, who invented the Pfizer vaccine and Albert Bora is the CEO of Pfizer. Uh, so these are the global uh, uh, vaccine maker names. So uh, continuing the storyline uh, just outside the, uh, uh, the uh, Albert Hall uh, central uh, platform is the uh, a lobby and in the lobby there is a little uh, cafeteria serving uh, stuff to the uh, audience and uh, here you have a person who walks in with uh, a snake uh, around his neck and he's a Punawala and I remember a Punawala character from one of the uh, Bollywood movies I have seen a comic character and uh, uh, the snake around his neck is an adder so Adder Punawala is the uh, chairperson of Serum Institute of uh, India, as we know, and uh, he is picking up this yellow paint and throwing it on uh, a character dressed as Krishna and, uh, uh, you know, uh, saying, yelling, okay, yelling, yelling, and uh, uh, yellow paint, yelling, LA, uh, this all uh, sinks in to compound and uh, create the name of Krishna Ella who is the founder chairperson of Bharat Biotech the inventor of co-vaccine in India so this is how I have remembered the key names for uh, the vaccine uh, inventors in my uh, uh, in my storyline so let me summarize once again the principles of memorization of the names quote the target name into a sequence of images if you can understand the meaning of the name it's easy uh, just interpret it and uh, put it up in the uh, memory palace if you can't remember the uh, meaning of the name if you don't understand the meaning of the name try and uh, break it up and create a visual content that is created by a compounding of that uh, sound of the name and you create the visual images link to that and put that in your uh, memory palace and uh, as vivid as vibrant x uh, multi-sensory the images as extravagant it is easier it is to recall you locate these names in a journey on a location map called a memory palace and if you select the logical known uh, location map then it will be easier for you to recall so if you do that you have built up a memorization of the uh, content but you can increase your recall if you do a systematic recall okay systematic repetition so just repeat it a few times and uh, over a period of time and you find that it's just burnt into your memory and that is the trick the principle of memorization of name in my next video i'll share how to remember names and faces something that is a key professional skill if you have liked the video so far do click on the like button below and leave your comments if you wish to receive alert on future videos click on the subscribe button below that is the red youtube subscribe button below the video or the excel tv icon on the lower right side of the video press the bell icon for future video alerts and see you in the next video.